morning everybody today I'm going to show you how to replace engine ECT sensor it's an engine coolant temperature sensor um, I'll show you how to replace an ECT sensor for Cadillac the wheel 1996 um, I made a special tool for this procedure this is kind of hook um, this is made from uh, barbecue forks um, this is nice because there's a two uh, prongs here and a long handle so I can insert this one here to below the engine to disconnect the, uh, the electrical connector um, this one uh, I insert the hook here if uh, the connector position is uh, on the upper side I can pull like this and uh, disconnect disconnect the plug like this it, in my case the um, the lock the lock of the plug was uh, under the bottom so I have to insert on the bottom like this and push down and pull the plug this is very useful tool for this procedure um, another tool yeah this one with a flexible socket um, 10 inch in total yeah this is very useful I can insert this one yeah through the several obstacles um, next to the engine for the project today first remove the engine cover second remove the transverse bar of the engine okay we are trying to find ETC sensor it's over there the yellow color bronze color third remove other parts hindering our access to the ECD sensor. Evac canist purge solenoid is removed. The vacuum tube to the brake power booster disconnected. The intake air duct is removed. Two wire cables for the accelerator and the cruise control are loosened and moved to the side. A clamp bolt on the coolant tube was loosened and moved to the right side. This bolt needs to be moved to the right and this hinders our access to the ECT sensor. Now we need to disconnect the electrical plug from the ECT sensor. I used the picker to hold the electrical wire and connector over there like this. A special tool I made for this project. With a tool and a flat screwdriver, I have disconnected the electrical connector. The two tools used to disconnect the electrical wire from the ECT sensor. I made this, this special tool to hold 
um, the lug on the plug. Yeah, insert like this. And pull up or pull down depending on the situation. Then I used driver to pull out the plug like this. Yeah, the important one is um, the lock, the lock hidden on, under the plug. So I need, in my case, I had to push down some, if it is a on the upper area, then you need to pull it up like this to disconnect. It is fun to make a tour from long barbecue forks. First, I spread the two prongs with these pliers and then bent the tips with the long nose pliers. Yeah, this special tool I made is used to dis disconnect the electrical connector. Yeah, like this. Insert it here and push it down the lock and uh, remove the Disconnect the plug. This is a nice tool I made. To remove and insert the ECT sensors, a 90mm long socket was used. When we have a universal joint connector in between the socket and the wrench, we can easily remove and insert the sensors. The total length of the combined tool need to be 10 inches. To insert the sensor, we need to fix the sensor inside the socket. The bubble wrap is a good candidate for this. The inner side of the sensor board should be at level with a socket margin. A thumb wheel ratchet wrench is very useful in the initial engagement of the sensor threads to the engine. At the initial engagement, my special tool is very useful as well. This works as a guide of the sensor to the threads on the engine. A thumb wheel wretch wrench is used in the initial engagement of the sensor together with my special tool. A new ECT sensor was tightened at the torque of 15 pound foot and the electrical plug was connected. Now finishing today's project. Thank you for watching.